calculate with the reasons the size of angle q t s right so friday physics monday chemistry was the plan very curated study notes and a lot of past papers to get access to all that just go to allpostpapers.com allpostpapers.com very cool study notes very cool study material and a lot of past papers completely free of course let's solve the problems so in the diagram pqrs is a parallel or oh, is a cyclic quad pqrs is a cyclic quad okay t is a point on the cycle such that qt is perpendicular to sr uh we have an angle of 90 to show that right uh pt is equal to st pt and st are drawn q2 is equal to 35 so it's q2 35 okay we can see that and then angle r is equal to angle s okay angle r is equal to angle s okay let's start so we're looking for the size of angle q t s so it is this angle okay so this angle 90 degrees is an exterior angle of the triangle q r v right so it means that 90 degrees uh that is v1 it means that v1 is equal to q2 plus r you will see where i'm going with that so v1 is 90 q2 is 35 and r is unknown okay so r should be equals to 55 degrees okay why am i determining r because r is subtended by the arc q s right r is subtended by the arc q s this is the arc q s it subtends r but that very same arc subtends angle q t s right so angle r is equal to angle q t s as they are subtended by the same arc so q t s should be equal to 50, 55 degrees therefore so that is the first question um so let me fill those things in so that uh things get easy so here we have 55 here we have 55 as well but we know that r is equal to s so we have 55 there as well and then now we're supposed to prove that pq is parallel to sr so we need to know the properties of parallel lines if lines are parallel uh we have things like cointeria angles right uh alternating angles we have those basic things that we usually do in grade eight and nine if we have two parallel lines okay so let's see what we can do uh, what information do we have we are told that pqrs is a cyclic quad right pqrs so pqrs is a cyclic quad so obviously we are always trying to use the keywords that we are given to determine things in euclidean geometry we stick to the keywords so if we use that pqrs is a cyclic quad then if s is 55 so what is 180 minus 55 that is 125 then this entire angle here is 125 right and then if angle r is 55 then p1 plus p2 should be 125 as well because we know that the opposite angles of um a cyclic quad are supplementary but then we want to prove that pq is parallel to sr angle p1 plus p2 is equal to 125 with the reasons right you're supposed to actually give the reasons in the exam and then s1 is equal to 55 well it is given that r is equal to s so when we add p1 plus p2 plus s2 we actually get 180 degrees these are co-interior angles right we know that the sum is uh, 180 degrees so now we can therefore conclude that pq is parallel to sr for that very reason so that is 10.2 10.3 prove that pt is the diameter of the circle obviously that question is saying let's show that something is equal to 90 degrees let's show that something is equal to 90 degrees because we know that a line is a diameter if it subtends 90 at the circumference of the circle so take a look at this take a look at our sketch 
What is Q1 plus Q2? 125. What is Q2? 35. So take a look at this. Q1 is equal to 125 minus 35, right? And then 125 minus 35 is 90 degrees. So Q1 is 90 degrees, right? Q1 is 90 degrees. If Q1 is 90 degrees, then PT is a diameter because it subtends 90 degrees at the circumference of the circle. So that is question 10. We are in physics soon. Life sciences, geography. For study notes and past papers, visit allpastpapers.com. Here we go.